You can see I have all the action parts off this piano. The reason why is because the piano had a very heavy touch. Here's a typical case of somebody installing the wrong parts on a piano. Um, of course, everybody knows nowadays, or most technicians are becoming more and more aware of the fact that the knuckle placement on a piano, or the knuckle, um, varies from 15 and a half millimeters to 17 millimeters. And what I'm specifically talking about is the, from the center pin there to the center of the knuckle. That spread there, if it's 15 and a half millimeters on the wrong piano, you're going to have a very heavy touch. And that's really been the problem, is that we're not using the right parts, people aren't using right parts. Um, and there's a lot of pianos out here like this. So instead, what normally has been done is that people are now coming to saying, well, you have to get a new set of shanks, I have to re-glue the hammers onto them and give you all new parts. But what I'm doing in this situation here is I'm putting on new knuckles. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the knuckle from one location to another. That requires going to the press, going over here, and removing the old knuckle. So what I'll do is I'll remove by um, using the bandsaw, just take off the old knuckle. Once I take off the old knuckle, all right, and they're going to look like this. Now these are parts now without a knuckle, and yet I've still kept the wood on the bottom. I'll sand the bottoms of them. Then I'll walk over to my fancy little doohickey, my little jig over here, which I, which I have. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll take a part and stick it in the tool. All right. I'll turn the tool on and then cut in this precision tool a new slot. And that new slot will end up to look like this. See the new slot? And it's further back from the old, um, it's further back from where the old molding was, from where the old knuckle was. You say, well, how much of a change could that possibly make? Well, I'll tell you how much of a change it made. This piano here, the gram weight on this note, and I've gram weighted every, I have a chart, and of course you measure all your weights. On this note over here, the gram weight, the down weight was 67, believe it or not, it was 67 grams. It took 67 grams of weight in the front in order to make that key move and, go, and that hammer move. By moving the knuckle back, I was now able to get that part down to 51 grams. And now, oops, well, I have 50 on it. Let's put 51 on. parts going. And there it is. Humidity always has a little bit of effect. This is 51 grams of weight. So I'll just say 52, even if it were 52. The improvement has been from 67 grams of weight, where which was way too heavy, heavy for this piano. And now just by moving this knuckle, and what I've done, you could see that I've moved it right over here. The knuckle itself has been moved. Just by moving it, two millimeters has changed the gram weight in the front of the keyboard. 15 grams, is that possible?